Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Tuesday, the 17th of August 2020. So S&P rallies 100% off last year's pandemic lows, shrugs off uh, China data, Delta doubts and Kabul chaos. Is this the calm before the storm? Bloomberg reports that August is shaping up to be one of the calmest on record. And in fact, the implied volatility is also uh, pointing to that. But just before we look at the implied moderate Dems tell Pelosi to pound sand threatened to hold the uh, 3.5 trillion budget plan hostage we simply cannot afford any delays so you know get printing and get on with it and uh, get more money out there we need it got to keep the stock market on the highs uh, implied volatility 12.11 down to 11.33 that's the lowest we've seen since uh, last year pre uh, covid uh, pandemic there so uh, this is a new low on an annual basis for uh, the implied volatility. The lower this number goes, the bigger the correction will be. That's how it's always been in history. So uh, again, keep an eye on this, see how it uh, pans out over the next few days. Meanwhile, in news today, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, that uh, the only really major new news item today is going to be uh, Powell. That said, uh, US retail sales will be interesting as well. They predicted to actually come in at minus 0.2 last month, 0.6. Hardly breaking any records, is it? Uh, 0.6, let alone minus uh, 0.02. If that comes out higher than that, they'll use that to rally the market back or any news they can, like they did uh, yesterday. And then you've got the core as well, but that's out at one uh, thirty. Uh, PM. So let's have a look, see where we are in uh, the stock market terms. In the Dow uh, daily, you can see yesterday the plunge protection team out in force bringing the market back towards the all time highs. In fact, we may have had a new all time high yesterday. Let me just move this out of the way and have a, a look here at uh, this high uh, 28. Yes, indeed, we have a new high. So uh, from 615 to 628 for yesterday so the Dow making a new all-time high there in the 30 minute chart you can see uh, that we dropped out of bed this is obviously related to uh, what's going on in Afghanistan as well and then the market uh, being uh, brought back closing back above the 200 bar moving average and then moving up uh, 100 200 uh, just over 200 points from that support but uh, from the uh, low yesterday we came at 100 200, uh, 300, 350 points uh, move off the low uh, yesterday afternoon for the Dow. In the DAX, we uh, find the daily, we a uh, bit of a different story. We moved to the downside, but managed to close back above the five, uh, five bar moving average. We've also got uh, an increase in volume here. There is weakness around in the DAX uh, for sure. Uh, as there is in the Dow, it's just that they're not allowing it to drop. But uh, the DAX looking a very weak uh, indeed. Any rally back in this market uh, is uh, offering a potential sell, certainly back to uh, the 78, 89 levels, which I'll just uh, leave on here uh, for the time being. I'll just spread that around a bit. And there we go. So you can see those uh, areas there are very important on any move back to the upside but at the moment uh, we're below uh, the uh, five bar moving average uh, watch out for yesterday's low you'll be able to pick that up in the intraday charts as uh, so we look at those but in the 30 minutes a very interesting day we were up for 30 minutes we were down for 30 minutes and then we drifted lower uh, as uh, down to the the brn there and then uh, obviously the Dow uh, kicked in, uh, which we'll see here. This is uh, the Dow when the Dow kicked in and then uh, reversed off this and came all the way back to where the market had made a high in the morning. Very choppy for the DAX uh, yesterday. And in the metals, just a quick look, uh, we can see uh, silver moving to the upside. Let me just uh, align this up a bit better would be uh, make it look a bit uh, more pleasing on the eye so silver managing to move higher obviously what's going on in Afghanistan at the moment uncertainty war is bullish for gold even if the dollar's going up as well they can move together in times of uncertainty 
and that's what we're seeing at the moment. So silver making its way back towards uh, the upside at the moment. What have we got on the upside for this market? So uh, just through 38. Uh, 50 and 62 is going to be a real issue for the market. 24, 61, 24, 50 will be uh, an interesting area should prices uh, continue to move to that uh, level. Uh, gold doing the same thing currently at uh, 70, uh, 62%. Let me just uh, grab that and add that to the chart. So you can just see there through the 62, uh, 78 uh, on the upside as the next uh, area of uh, resistance there. And then finally in the dollar, uh, you can see this uh, moving to the upside as well. A bit of demand for yesterday, narrower bar and uh, volume greater there. So whatever selling was around in the dollar yesterday soon evaporated with uh, some absorption volume there taking place. So a quick look at the DAX uh, yesterday morning. I uh, forgot to put the record button on and then uh, realized I was uh, busy looking at other things. Uh, but uh, you can see that the kickoff, uh, we had a, a double bottom there as they brought the market back and then they shot it to the upside. Uh, again, bringing the market back above uh, Friday's low with the overnight uh, weakness. You see how the market stopped there. You've got uh, that uh, resistance to the upside. Uh, at the low, the market uh, broke, but then found support at the 200 MA with some buying there and then uh, drifted sideways to lower once more as you can see they're bouncing on the BRN but uh, eventually the market uh, breaks this and uh, just at the 10 o'clock there and drifts uh, down as, until prices uh, find some support and I'm just going to fast forward through here you'll see uh, uh, prices uh, finding support at 50% retracement as uh, they come off uh, these support area there the brn and then back through the s2 and managed to rally back towards the low they're desperate to keep the market above the low and then into the afternoon uh, we start off with uh, the dax moving sharply lower along with the dow that moved uh, over 100 points and uh, having a look at the daily chart to see how far this could go see whether it's worth hanging in there but uh, this bar here is really interesting <laughs> Uh, this one that's just completed here. Look at the amount of volume that's in this bar and how tiny the range is. Uh, if this was all selling, then you would expect the market to have moved lower. It failed to do so, and you'll see the net effect of this uh, in just a second as prices are brought back. And I exit the trade because uh, that is a serious amount of volume for a little bit of price movement in that bar. It has to be uh, buying coming in there. They retest the market and then uh, prices just trade sideways. Again, you can see the pros getting out here as the uh, shorts take their profits. And then, of course, uh, the Dow moved back to the upside and the DAX tried to. Uh, but interestingly enough, as we hit the 200 MA and the BRN, the volume uh, increased there. There's some selling around as shown by the red volume bar and prices move back to the downside for a moment or two. And then... Uh, Again, you can see the shorts getting out here. You've got the increase in volume and the market closing back above the five bar moving average. And then uh, prices uh, trading sideways uh, to uh, higher. Again, we've got a, a similar situation here where we've got a tiny bar, not as a great a volume as we saw in the earlier example. But uh, again, uh, you know, it's a bit of absorption there at uh, the two. Uh, the S2 before the market uh, then uh, managed to break this and move back to the upside, which is what we saw uh, earlier in uh, the DAX. Let me just uh, go back to that, which you'll see there in the 30 minute prices moving back to the upside. So in uh, there you go, you'll see it there in the two minutes as prices move to uh, the upside. And then overnight prices have drifted uh, lower the, below the DP, below the 200 MA as well. Let's have a look at uh, where the low is because it's likely to be tested. Uh, that's only 50 points away. That could be quite easily uh, targeted and hit uh, on the open if uh, prices uh, don't uh, switch tact and uh, move back uh, to uh, towards the uh, upside there, the 200 MA, the DP and the close. 
Okay, that uh, will do it uh, for this one. Let's see uh, how the market reacts to the US retail sales today and uh, whether they're going to use this in order to bring the market back to the highs. But it's becoming, uh, the, the calmer it becomes, the quieter it becomes, the bigger the underlying move will be to the downside when it actually breaks. So uh, let's uh, see what uh, today holds. Okay, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.